Spider's back! Hey! Coolest. That rules. Rules. That rules. Cup in Saskatchewan. Channing loud in the red zone. We want Spider to see if our red zone will. Wouldn't that be like, wouldn't that be a highlight rule? I'm back. Okay, and get a little fog on the monitor again. <laughs> but I'm back for a full session. I see that 15 minutes doesn't turn a lot of people on. Maybe because I said it's going to be seven because my battery went dead. That'll never happen again. It's the first time it ever happened. I had some batteries go dead on me in 23 minutes and so forth, but. I'm back for a full session of 27 minutes, and I just want to start by just saying, uh, I'm as Canadian, that's how I wore this Canada sweater again. I'm Canadian as it gets, okay? And I'm not against Canadian players playing in the CFL. I don't even watch the NFL. And that's what, like, like there's a big difference between opinion, facts, okay, and, and determine the real truth, okay? Okay? There's a huge difference, okay? And when you have, everybody's allowed to have their opinion. You know, I, I don't condemn anybody for that. They're allowed to have, they don't crucify anybody for that. But I seek out the truth. I use both sides of the brain that God gave me. I give you an analogy of a stereo analogy. Okay? If a stereo speaker goes out left, like, or right side, A or B side, can you listen to that? Well, you can't use your brain like that, okay? You got to use both sides of the brain to seek out the real truth. And, like, Listen, I have Blackberry, my favorite band is the Guess Who. How Canadian can you get more than that, right? And I don't watch the NFL, period. My son doesn't either. He doesn't watch any NFL. I don't watch any NFL. So, you know, when I talk about the Canadian ratio problem, uh, the prob problematic Canadian ratio, coming from a true Canadian, I hope you listen, seriously, because you're being snowed. And not told the truth. And that's what I'm, uh, I'm about to say here and tell you and, and try to explain to you. Because, not, like, John Cornish, he didn't want to go really go to the NFL. He didn't. He wanted to play in the state. And he was playing college football down, down the, the U.S. college football, down the States. He's the epitome of what a real Canadian player should be. And by the way, like, if I would own a CFL team like Calgary Stampeders, I, like he would have made my team because I want I would want a really good Canadian on my team and they'd be way more respected respected and he didn't need a Canadian ratio to make this Calgary Stampeders and 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 here's the problem with this okay if the, if the CFL want to have like like have all Canadians playing in the CFL okay good luck to you okay but if you want to be a real player and be a real professional football three down professional football league and compete with and by the way, your competition is the NFL, and the NBA, and the, the Rafters, and the Blue Jays, Major League Baseball, the NBA, MLS Soccer. They don't have a Canadian starter race, so they're forcing Canadian players that aren't good enough to start. There'd be no one in the stands, just like there is, just like exactly like it is in the CFL. And that's the reason, because the Canadian players would be way more respected. But like, I, well, here's a big question I said in my last video. What does the CFO want to be? If they want to be a, 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 a so-called, you know, professional foot, three down foot, football league, that they want to basically have all Canadian players, because well, they have now half of the a, a CFO team has to be all Canadian, okay, and seven starters, it's got to be guaranteed now eight, all Canadian, with backup, then, you know, 
good luck to you. But if you want to be a real professional three down football league and be a player and, and, and play the best, allow the best players to be recruited, recruited so you can play and st start the best players like the NHL, like the NFL, like the Major League Baseball, like the NBA, like MLS Soccer does. Okay, that's why they're successful football leagues. So it's a real fantasy to think that, and you're really being snowed and lied to, uh, that, oh, the Canadian ra ratio is the reason that uh, uh, Canadian sports fans or football fans go to and watch CFL football games. Well, if that's the case, there's an awful lot of empty seats, okay? I, that's not the case. And the real truth is that the mass market sports fans in Canada, which is the younger generation sports fan and the NFL only fans, and the Toronto Raptor fans, and the Toronto Blue Jays fans, and the Maple Leaf fans, okay, uh, and MLS soccer fans. They want to see only the best players start and play in a professional team, in, in a professional football team. And that's the CFL. You're saying you're a professional football league. Well, act like one, okay, and, and, and be like all the other professional leagues and allow the best players to start and play in the CFL. But no, you've got to continue to allow the Canadian players and the Canadian Players Association, their union, and their Canadian ratio, half a guaranteed Canadian roster ratio that half the players got to be Canadian, guaranteed, and guaranteed eight starters now, okay, because it's gone up, okay, guaranteed, just show me your passport. Here's your starting spot. Eight. You, you have to. We have to play eight. Okay. Starting doesn't matter if you don't have to make the team. Okay. Uh, we'll draft them. You don't really have to make the team like the American players. So you're going to start. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're good enough. Okay. All right. We got to fill the, this handcuffing, dictating Canadian ratio, and half the roster is going to be Canadian, guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's why the CFL is in trouble. And by the way, when you're when you won't even look at my you snow me, Mr. Ambrosi, you snow me and, and basically lied to me when you said you were gonna present my CFO Red Zone rule and you were anxious to get my latest presentation to the Innovation Rules Committee and the CFO Rules Committee, and you promised me that, and you snow me and lied to me, and, and you guys trash it deliberately because you don't want to be outdone by a CFO fan, and because my CFO Red Zone rule is far superior than your little Mickey Mouse, little hash mark, little minor little alteration, uh, tweak, uh, embarrassing rule, that my CFL Red Zone rule will blow out of the water, including all your nine combined CFL uh, new rules that are little minor tweaks, okay? And, 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 and by the way, there's lots of ammo to prove that my CFL Red Zone rule uh, deserves to be... Uh, and to earn, actually, and deserves to be made part of a CFL three-down game of football. And, and that's what Mr. Vanstone said to the leader at the Regional Leader Pro Post, okay, after the 2021 uh, CFL season, okay, when there was 51% of an average percentage of touchdowns scored in the red zone amongst nine CFL teams, probably the lowest ever recorded in the CFL. One of the lowest. It probably could be the lowest. It, it was, it's brutal. And that's why my CFL red zone rule is so needed. And, they, and, and it's the most needed, by the way, uh, new CFL rule. And, and because of jealousy, because of pompousness, believe it or not, at its finest, and huge ego, and because they don't want to be embarrassed, because my rule would just blow all the rules out of the water. It's not even comparison. There's no comparison, comparatively. And it might, like my son said, it's not, not even debatable. It's an absolute joke, okay? And all you got to do is go on my CFL red zone See my, my Spider CFL Red Zone Rule Facebook page and see and read my full latest presentation that they were supposed to, and Brosy was supposed to present to the CFL Innovation Rules Committee and the CFL Rules Committee and deliberately trashed it, okay, because they didn't come up with my CFL Red Zone Rule themselves. And just look at my presentation and look at all the, just go over the rules, my, my Spider CFL Red Zone Rule in, in, a, not, not, in, a, in a nutshell. Go over the rules, all the rules on the op op optional provision part, and then all the ten super features and benefits, the, the key compelling ten super features and benefits, and all the advantages, justifiable advantages, by the way, of adopting not only from the, uh, the entertainment value side of my rule, but from the business side as well, and I do uh, on the business section as well, and what it will do. Okay, and, and the revenues they can generate, some of the business opportunities. It's on, and now with betting, even 
even even a bigger opportunity business opportunity for them. But it's all there, uh, and and like like it's it's and all the stunning numbers. Like I, I have some really powerful stunning numbers and data, and and the, and the powerful eighteen percent guaranteed percentage. Okay, increased percentage of uh, of that's an eighteen percent guaranteed with my CFO Red Zone rule. Of, 18% more touchdowns scored in the red zone amongst nine CFL teams with the 54.8 average percentage, okay? That was a 2, 2018-2017, well actually there was a 58.7, so it's basically the same, but it adds up to 18%, both of them, okay? So with that, even after 51%, it'll be 16% more touchdowns guaranteed in the red zone, but uh, at the 18%, that's 50 more touchdowns, okay, you can take the spread between, the four-point spread between uh, a sc scoring a touchdown in the red zone versus an, an easy chip shot field goal, and then and then and also then it's, uh, the all converts would have to be successful as well, okay, uh, and that would equal 200 points, okay, and a guarantee of 18 percent guaranteed at that 54.8 percent, okay, it would say probably we'll get back to this year, uh, but can you imagine that? 50 more touchdowns, and we'll eliminate the two biggest killers and two biggest turnoffs turn of our CFL three-down game in the, vet, in the red zone. That being, as you know, too many, you know, repetitive, un, un, unappealing, two down football stops in the red zone, resulting in more boring, okay, predictable, distasteful, non-eventful, easy chip shot field goals, okay, or slightly outside, depending on where the second down stop is made uh, in the red zone. All completely, remarkably gone with my CFL Red Zone Bowl. Can you imagine a feature that big? But there's 10 big super features and benefits, okay? Okay, key super, they're compelling actually, super features and benefits. And on my on my Spider CFL Red Zone Rule Facebook page, on my full presentation, okay, uh, 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 that uh, my latest one that they were supposed to present to the Ambrosi, to the CFL Rules Committees. Anyway, uh, and, it's, and that new bonus feature that I talked about in my last video where, you know, the ideal number of downs, that's a perfect number of downs to score a touchdown in the red zone in a game, football is three. Not two down football repetitive stops that you see in the NHL resulting in easy chip shot field goals. And not four down, okay, four downs in the NFL where there's too many football downs. Uh, it, it makes it too easy to score a touchdown in the NFL in their little end zone. You can underhand the ball, you can run the ball four times, they get a first down and just punch it in, uh, or three tries and punch it in, you know. Uh, it's, 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 you know, it's too, it's too, four downs is just too many downs. It's too easy. And three downs is the ideal and the perfect number of downs in the game of football, okay, needed to score a touchdown, fairly offensively and defensively. Okay, and in my, from my CFO rule, it would create also a invigorating plot in the red zone, not only defensively, but, but defensively as well. Okay, because, because if a CFO team is stopped on third down and they'll score a touchdown if needed, use my CFO red zone rule enforcement rule, okay, they, they don't get a touchdown on third. They don't score a touchdown on third down. And if they're pushed outside the red zone defensively on third down, uh, if needed, to go for a touchdown because it's an enforcement rule, they'll be playing exciting three-down football, and, and if they're pushed outside the red zone, they don't get my CFL red zone rule kick, which is a big part of my CFL red zone rule, because it's a bonus, and it's compatible, and it's complementary, and, um, and, and it works. It's a, it's a good attachment, and it's needed. Uh, and, and, and so, if they do maintain possession of the ball, though, on third down, and they don't score a touchdown, using my CFL red zone rule, enforcement rule, Playing exciting three down football, they get to kick spider. They they get to kick spider. C foot red zone will kick from the 35, and you add the seven from the 42, which is a real challenging kick, by the way, and it adds more drama and excitement to my to my rule. But you know, I, I could I could pitch this all day, and and because there's so many compelling and key selling features and benefits and justifiable advantages, okay, to my rule. It, 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 it's, I mean, it's not even comparable. If you compare them to hash mark, well, it's just, it's a joke. I, I, and I'm not going to do that. I was going to read the comparison I sent out to the, uh, the CFL and the commissioner and, and the owners and, the, and some of them on the CFL Innovation Rules Committee and CFL Rules Committee directly. Uh, and I'm not because it's an absolute embarrassment. I mean, 
Like, I mean, the, 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 it, I mean, it has the hash mark rule really doesn't have any really no, no proven data like my CFL red zone rule. Uh, it hasn't, you know. I mean, and also in the CFL because of two down football, by the way, because of two down football, the, the coaches are going to try to go oh, short field now because it's easy to get the ball out there by seven yards. I believe that's the number uh, that it narrows it. It decreases it to, and, and so it, it gives you more room on the wide side, on both sides, but more on the wide side, and, and apparently, but I understand, what I've read about narrowing the hash marks, but they're going to, what they're going to do, is you're going to see more little passing plays, five yard passing plays, okay, to the sidelines now more, and trying to get first down to keep the drives going, like with little passes to go down the field, to run the clock down, they get in the red zone and score a touchdown. Then they get in the red zone and they'll be stopped in another two down football stop, repetitive, unappealing two down football stop, and kick another boring, easy, monotonous, distasteful, predictable, non eventful, easy chip shot field goal. That's exactly what's going to happen. So there you go. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the same old Canadian ratio and the same old lousy rules. They haven't brought in a real CFL red zone. I mean a real a real rule like my CFL red zone rule that will that will actually make our CFL three down game a lot better and uh, and a lot more innovative like like dramatically more innovative and, and full of drama in the red zone and, and make it uh, a lot more entertaining and a lot more exciting brand of CFL three down football to watch and be part of and you can take that to the bank and that's what we'll do. And it will gravitate and it will captivate all the younger generation fans and all the NFL only fans, and the, which are the mass, mass, mass market sports fans in Canada that the CFL desperately needs. And you'll see CFL stadiums with my CFL Red Zone Mole, made part of a CFL 3 down game, packed. And in the major markets too. And, and, and it will make them soar and more throughout the CFL. Isn't that a fantastic slogan? That's a fantastic slogan. Uh, that's a real winner and a game changer too. I like that. That's a real because my CFL Red Zone rule is a game changer. But anyway, I mean, it's just so blatantly obvious and, and it's, it's so definitive. You know, like I mean, it, I mean, it's like my son said. There's no contest here. It's not even debatable if you're comparing the the two. It's or all their nine little minor little tweaks and and like Mark. Trustman said, it's a minor, the hash mark rule. It's not even needed. It wasn't never needed before in the CFL. <laughs> and it was all kinds of touchdowns down down the side, down down both sides of the field and the center of the field with, you know, star quarterbacks that I named last session. You know who they are. They never had to have the hash marks. But you know what happened? I think Huffnagel, because he was so embarrassed that he got caught, like he was the one that wanted to go to eliminate three down football our CFL three down game of football in a great cup in a hundred plus years of our history of our game. He wanted to kill it and bring and bring in four down football and he was one in the Toronto Argonauts, I can understand them. Rogers, you know, I can understand them. But he got caught, so then he says, Oh, I'll come up with a great new rule. I have moved the hash marks. Well, it's your rule is a joke, I'm up, up nickel, and you're a hypocrite too. And by the way, you never even acknowledged my CFL Red Zone rule and I sent it directly to you. Through, through through an email I got it to, okay? Directly, okay? So, or Dave Dickinson as well. So there's too much pompousness, there's too much ego, and big, too, too many people that are too big feeling, including the commissioner. I'm sorry, Randy and Rosie. You, you really, this time, I've lost all respect for you. I really have. I mean, you really showed your true colors, who you really are, and you really set me up again. This time worse. But anyway, you're, you're going to, you know what? All, all you, your commissioner, your coaches, your GMs on the Innovation Rules Committee, the Super Rules Committee, you're not who are important. You think you are, and you want to take all the credit for you, little mind, a little embarrassing, like Mickey Mouse little like alterations, you know, like little minor uh, tweaks to little rule, like hash mark, moving the hash marks, and all these little tweaks you did, and think it's going to be, you, you, you mean, you, Mr. Brosey, the commissioner, and, and, and coaches and GMs on the CFL rules committees said that the hash mark rule is going to be the biggest move, rule ever the CFL adopted, and it's going to be make the CFL three-down football the best it's ever been, okay? 
with big plays, eliminate two and eights, two and outs almost, they said, and it's going to be the biggest and the most exciting and the best brand of, of football, period, professional football in the world, better in the NFL. They said that. They said that. And that's absolute truth. They, they, they said that. Can you imagine that? Well, I'll tell you one thing. What we would give the NFL a real run for their money if my CFL red zone rule was made part of, wisely made part of a CFL three down game. Uh, and would give the NFL a, a four down game a, 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 you know, a, a run for their money. And in the red zone rule, it, like our, our third down, it would be a real spot like put on a third down. And, and on a and a real signature put on a CFL three down game of football, and it would actually be a more powerful down and a more entertaining down and a more exciting down, our third down in the red zone than the NFL fourth down. And you can take that to the bank because of my CFL red zone rule. And it would be. And the betting would be the most look at the two when they get in the red zone, my CFL red zone rule. And the most money they can make on betting on my CFL red zone rule. And on sponsorship tag sales, okay, when they get in the red zone rule. Okay? You see the diagram, you, you dress it all up with the, my, the field diagram, and my CFL Red Zone Mill field diagram, and the, and the CFL Red Zone Mill logo, and with sponsorship tags, you pull in the dough, make the money for CFL, their owners, their, their partners, and CFL players. So anyway, there's no contest here, and, 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 and you know, that, those, are the, the, those are the facts, okay? This is not opinion, these are facts. And it's all in my presentation, my full, latest full presentation that I have up my Spider CFL Red Zone Mill page. Okay? So, I'm very sweaty here, but I wanted to wear this, and uh, I want to do this off the cuff, and I'm not going to read anything anymore. I'm going to do everything off the cuff that comes out of my, off my tongue. And by the way, these are all live takes. There's no remakes. There's no editing. There's no anything. So if I make mistakes, I stumble over some words, I try to correct them. I don't even say I correct them anymore. I'll correct them because I'll use them again. And pronounce them right. I stumble sometimes, but you know it's hard. This is hard to do, and with the lighting and with a, an older camera. But you know what? I have this remote. I love the remote with the monitor. I have that, and I really like that. It's only 480. It's all it is. Okay. But anyway, my CFO Red Zone roll is a real game changer, and a real winner, and a real natural and tailored made for CFL three down football, and it will. Okay pack all stadiums and make them soar and roar throughout the CFL and you can take that to the bank and it will attract all the younger generation fans and gravitate all the NFL fans and captivate all the mass market sports fans in Canada to and 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 it would create my CFL red zone rule would create a, a buzz around CFL three down football like never before and it would gravitate all of them to to come to CFL all the mass market sports fans to be rushing in the CFL stadiums and packing them and they'll make them soar and roar because it'll be super exciting just waiting the anticipation for my the, the, for CFL team to get in the red zone to play with my exciting CFL red zone role okay to score touchdowns if needed in third down and like I said there'll be an invigorating plot created offensively and defensively because of all the different scenarios and the betting scenarios as well and you can take that to the bank and it'll pay huge, huge dividends for the CFL and their owners and their partners and the CFL players. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that too. Um, but Soar and Roar would make a great slogan for my CFL Red Zone Bowl. But, um, and Touchdown Atlantic, I'm going to talk about a little bit. I'm going to be there and I'm going to wear my CFL Red Zone Bowl hat, like I said. I'm going to be there. I'm going to have lots of brochures, double brochures. I'm going to give out. I'm going to give out luck because I have 500 of them. So I'm going to give out a lot. And by the way, they, I have to send an email uh, to them uh, to the, the the guy that's organizing I, that does a great cup festive and everything. I, I got his email on his card. I, I I won't tell you his name, but I'm going to send him an email. And he's the one that told me about St. Mary's. And I may go back there and I'm going to ask him if uh, they're going to expand. Put they could put four or five thousand more seats on the on the other side, the other temporary seats on this side, and then they have a little small little stadium that holds 3,500 or 3,000. But it only goes up to the 50-yard line, so they have more room on that side. They could probably put three, four, five, even 5,000 more seats in there. I hope they do. I'm going to send it out to them. And I'm going to take a little hyenas for a bit until the season starts. And I'm not going to be back during the exhibition unless something really pops up. By the way, there's a couple of things I want to say. I can guarantee you 
all CFL, all really not people that are, are like trying to shove Canadian ratio down your throat like the Canadian players are trying to do. Uh, and, and, and they're basically hypocrites because they want one, one, one year contracts and there's 25 of them plus in the NFL now and more going every year. So they're hypocrites. So they, 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 so they you know, they, they, they don't care about the CFL. And they and I, I when I did my survey when I you know interviewed uh, CIS and AUS players college players they said they don't even watch the CFL and he, he they agreed with me the Canadian ratio is it's got to go you know they said the Canadian players would be a lot more respected if they didn't have a Canadian ratio if they made the team on merit and not on their passport and not on a Canadian starter ratio that's half the roster and a, and a guaranteed seven now eight uh, uh, eight starting ratio Canadian eight starting ratio, right? And it's true, they would be. Uh, but I can guarantee you, all decent, respectable uh, CFL players that want the CFL game to grow, and if they knew about my CFL Reds Arm Wool, and I, I, I got them to some of them, and they were all blown away by it, and some AUS players, they're all blown away by it, and CIS players that I surveyed, and I guarantee you, if all the CFL quarterbacks, receivers, defensive players, special team, okay, safety, so forth, linebacker, all of them, okay, o offensive, defensive line, if they all knew about my CFL Red Zone rule and they were decent, good, you know, CFL players and respectful and everything, and, and really looked at my CFL, they, CFL Red Zone rule, they would all want to make part of a CFL three down game, I can guarantee you that. And by the way, I, I'm getting ready to the close on this, and I just want to say, uh, listen, the, the, the mass market sports fans, you sports fans out there, can make my CFL Red Zone real part of my uh, CFL three down game of football. You can, and I got to get it out there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a podcast coming up. Steve Arman just told me to do that. I'm gonna go to college minor and high school football and present my CFL Red Zone rule. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have brochures at Touchdown Atlantic. I'm gonna do more videos coming up. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to use a lot of social media because there's a lot of bad people on social media. But I'm going to come up with a real plan. I'm going to do a blitz on radio too. So anyway, Spider, Spider, here comes Spider, see for Red Zone Wall. Chat loud in the Red Zone. But we want Spider, see for Red Zone Wall. Take care, Spider. Signing off.